a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, George, in Newport, Richie. George, what's going on, brother? Hello, Tom. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing great. Yourself? Yeah, great. I've been following you for the last two years, listening to your show. Well, thank you very much. Nice I appreciate it, George. All the hard work you've done for us over the years. Well, I really appreciate and, you calling uh, and saying hi. My pleasure, Tom. Okay. Listen to your show. Thank you, man. Have a great one and safe one. Day. Appreciate it, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, Whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. You are what you believe you are. This is a great card, man. The humans are powerful magicians. You have the power to make yourself what you are right now, but it's not your reasoning mind that controls what that controls your power. It's what you believe. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 327, NASDAQ off 98, SP's down 32. Gold, gold contract trading down $55.80 at 2400 flat. You got the silver contract uh, off 62 cents, $29.39 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 264, $80.18 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note down 12 ticks, trading 110.26, the 30 year off 24 at 119.02 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now trading up 211 ticks, 104, 384, Euro 108, Yen 157, British Palm 129 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, first, I'm going to bring up the E-mini. And... Okay, so we take a look at this E-mini, and what you're going to see, when we ended yesterday, we had the ABC structure. It had taken out the B point, taken it out with volume. That price projection was uh, 5544. Okay, we made... Made five five four two. Now these are the things, folks. Okay, you want to wrap your head around this because when you have a two-way market, this is what ends up happening. You get ABC structures, whether it's on the way up or the way down, and if they don't fulfill themselves, the, your probability. You, well, let's put it this way: you have much more information when the market opens the next day, particularly, you know, if you're day trading. That's what it comes down to. Bottom line: ABC was still in place; that it messed around. Building more cars, got the ABC, okay? Um, that being said, now watch how this goes. And this is what's really cool now. We didn't get the ABC, the full number, on the NQs. Now what's so cool about this is it's going to give us Monday morning, okay? So, because the ABC is still in place. We got 19.654, and it's 19.559. So what do you do with information like that? Well, two different things you can do. The first thing I do, and you got to be a believer in ABC structures, number one, okay? Whether they go up or down. Well, I'm a believer, okay? So the bottom line is that I love when that information comes out. Now, number two, when you have divergence like this, it's like, okay, so now what do you do? And I, re I, get, I get people want to play the bounce here. I get it. But guess what? There's no way I'd be playing a bounce when I know that the ABC structure and the NQs is not finished yet. Because the NQs lead everything. Gold. We take a look at the gold market out here. What you have with the gold market. So we got to the top of the range. When you do 100% move for move, the bottom line is that's the most they normally do. Okay. So that's what we did. We, we went from the bottom of the consolidation to the top. We didn't take a break. And that's always a bummer if you you know, bullish gold. So if you don't take a break, it's a, it's a bummer because what ends up happening, it's just like running a marathon. What ends up happening is that you run, run, run. If you, the last 
five, six miles at the hardest, okay? okay? Bottom line, you get the gist of it. So the good news is that we had hit the high with 260,000 contracts, 2.6 million rather. No, 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 one second. Yeah, it's 262,000. Yeah, 262,000, okay? Now, we're coming down to 232, which is too much, okay? So, let's see if we can figure this out, man. So, we already blew through... Oh, uh, yeah, this is not good. Okay, so you already blew through the 0.382. You hit the 5.0. That's telling me that we're going to go to the 618. The 618 is 2374, and we'll see whether we come down to the very end. That's how this is set up right now. We go to the GDX. We take a look at the GDX. The GDX out here, down 37 cents. This is a good setup. Awesome. Great. Okay, it's only 14 million. So we have a disconnect now between the gold contract and the GDX, which makes sense, by the way, too, because the GDX, as well as the equities, were not as powerful as the gold contract. Uh, so GDX pulling back with light volume. Right now, you're at uh, 37.50. Now, this is a crucial place we are right now, because 3747, you get a close underneath that, and then that's going to actually, you know, say that, okay, we can get down to the 3555. That's how this sets up right now. We go to the note and bond market and take a look at the note and bond market, what you have here. Now, this is pulling back on late volume, I believe. Yeah, it is. Okay, so what you have with the note and bond market, we have... Lower price today. You're coming into uh, 2.75 million, and you're down 1.4. So this is a decent setup, meaning that you're pulling back with light volume. You had already broke the swing. When we broke the swing, we broke it with volume. So this would be saying that on the, you know, wherever this ends up going. Let me pull this here. Let's see. So these two places. Let's see. So we got 110.12. Yeah, 11012 is going to be a place to look at it. That's how this is set up right now. 11012 wouldn't be a bad place to look at. And the 11017 is the 0.382, the 11008 is the 50. You keep going down there with light volume, that would be that would be the place to look at it. You know, because now the next thing we're going to be hearing what the next thing we're going to be hearing, but as we talk start talking Fed talk, okay? Uh the bottom line is that I believe it's the 31st, right? That the the next uh, Fed comes out, statements, calendar, 31st. Yeah, the 31st, 2 o'clock, that's the next statement. The market's set up right now for a rate cut in September, September 18th, you know. Um, and your probability goes higher each time that the screen gets red in the equity market, in the futures market, in the commodity market, all of the above. Because that's a, September is no doubt a long time from now. Um, as I said yesterday, you know, we know that you have the economy, then you have the stock market, right? The way the Fed rolls, okay? Yeah, they pause, pause, pause for information. Well, guess what? The more red that comes in the stock market, the quicker phew, that gets pulled and rates start going south. Stay right there, folks. Come right back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. 
This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Tigers, it's back. The annual July Tiger Dollar Sale. If you've been wanting to try one of our products, from our stellar newsletters to educative webinars, now is the time. From now until July 22nd, we're offering a 20, 30, even a 40% bonus on Tiger Dollar purchases. After being applied to your account, your Tiger Dollars will be used for all purchases. They can be easily transferred and never expire. If you want to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when purchasing Tiger Dollars, now's your chance. This is a perfect opportunity to try out a newsletter or save big on your current subscription. This deal is only available until July 22nd, so lock in your bonuses fast. Go to TFNN.com today to lock in your bonus. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow's off 303. The Nasdaq's off 94. S&Ps are off 30. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. And don't forget, folks, our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, does an outstanding show every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter called The Opening Call. Now, Basil's going to be doing a workshop for all his subscribers coming this Tuesday from 4 to 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. Bottom line, you can be a subscriber when you're a subscriber to... Basil's newsletter comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Every Saturday, Basil does an overview. You're going to get an overview, number one, about an hour overview of what's happening inside the marketplace. Number two, you're going to get a great newsletter. Number three, which is the most important, is that you're going to get a great workshop on Tuesday from 4 to 5.30. And our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is going to tell you about this right now. And on the Tiger Dollars, folks, okay, the Tiger Dollars is going to be extended to uh, the end of this month. So the bottom line is that you can still get Tiger Dollars, come to the workshop, all of the above. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. So tell us about this webinar. Subscribe a webinar, Basil. So there are a number of things that I like to look for when I'm doing my webinars. First of all, I like the timing aspect. So I don't do them all the time. I just do them when I think there's some kind of a market turn coming and that it's really important to start positioning oneself and pre preparation for that and just getting ready to, to uh, decipher what's working, what's not working. In that aspect, what I'm looking for for subscribers is what are we going to step away from what has already had huge moves to the upside and could digest gains that they don't have to break down, but maybe they're just not in play right at this moment? And what's starting to work? And that's really important. And what stocks? And I, I like to get prices, uh, stocks with prices from single digits to double digits to triple. It doesn't matter what it is because I like, uh, I, you know, subscribers have a variety of needs and a, a variety of amounts of money they can put to work. So I like to cater to, to uh, you know, different kinds of uh, portfolios. So most importantly, uh, we're looking at, for instance, here's the Dow. Dow's made some kind of a short-term top, but all the technicals are very positive, and it seems to me that the Dow, the mix of the Dow, it's just no line on why they call it industrials. They're not industrials, but it's a real nice mix of this particular phase right now of the U.S. economy. So I like I like the Dow. We've been long for a long time, but we want to add to that position, so we're waiting for this pullback. Now, what we're also looking at is the IWM. Well, it's the Russell 2000, and that the small caps um, have just, when I say out of favor, they have just been out of favor for a long time. So they had a very, we, we're long, we had, it had a very nice spike, 
broke out of this resistance level, and I'll be talking about these particular techniques during the webinar. I'm actually starting, I, I use, you do the overview on the weekend, but I, I've lately for a while now, I've tried to do it on a Friday just after the market closes. So everything's fresh, and then people have the whole weekend to look at it. And what's important about the overview that I'm going to do this afternoon after the close is that it's really in preparation for the webinar. So if anyone's interested, just the sooner you, you sign up and the sooner you're, you're participating, because I'm not waiting for Tuesday evening and then Wednesday to start with new positions. If it happens Monday, it's Monday. I mean, even today, we, we you know, we got positions, and that's the way you have to look at it. Now, I use all different techniques, but I've used on October the 31st of last year, I said to subscribers, I'm using Microsoft. It's in the Dow. We've got a buy signal. It's in the Dow. It, it's in the S&P. It's in the QQQ. That's the NDX 100. It's in the XLK, which is the S&P Select Spider Fund. And it's in the AIQ, in the AI, the um, artificial intelligence. So I'm using this as a benchmark. And we've been long since 338. We've had other good trading positions. And we just lately, we were looking at this particular pattern. I've been speaking to you this, about this pattern for about a month now. Oh, I, said, I know it well. <laughs> <laughs> I spoke about this pattern that I discovered years ago when I used to hand chart with engineering paper and pencil and a ruler. And I call it the Chap Wave Stork Leg Formation. And it basically, look, you can see this little pattern right here. Doesn't it look, it's got the long leg and it's got an oval body, it's got the neck and it's got the beak. Well, here's the real chart, the weekly chart of the um, of Microsoft. Look at this huge move to the upside. And then this is emphatically an oval pattern. It's not a rectangle, it's not a circle, it is an oval. And that was what we needed. And I had said to you that I'm waiting for it to break out and that forms the neck. You can see the little drawing right here that says yes. neck. And then when that makes a top, I'm anticipating that it's going to pull back. And where it pulls back to should be right at 433.60 was the high of the 23rd of May to 431. That's the area. Well, look what it did. It went straight up. It made the neck. Here's the beak. And what did it hit today? It went down to round number 432. So I'd love to look at round numbers. So it says to me, we're getting much closer to some kind of a... a at least a trading low coming up. So I'm watching that very closely. So it'll be adding to the Microsoft position. I use round numbers, just fascinating. Look at this. In the Dow, yesterday it made an all-time high. It wasn't just an all-time high. It made a round number, 41,376.00. I mean, when have you seen that before? It is just incredible how these round numbers. Look at the round number, 38,000 at the low. Back in, um, I think it was the 1st of June. Uh, no, the 30th of May. It was 38,000.95 or something. So almost a round number. So I love these round numbers. And this just says to me, we've got to be careful. The moment we break 41,376.00 on the Dow, that opens the upside. So we're waiting to see where it'll where it'll land. Now, talking about this, just this one particular pattern, I have so many patterns we look at. I just spoke to you about this. Basil, can I ask you, let me ask you something about the stark leg, though. Uh, yes. The stark leg seems to come pretty close to highs. I mean, I've been shooting it with a shotgun for the last 20 I, years I'm now. Pleased <laughs> you, I'm, I'm pleased you mentioned that because you're absolutely, either recovery highs or highs, yes, at least uh, multi-month highs in other words it is at a some kind of a high please you mention that why because we've been long core, uh, core mining which used to be called Deline, which is a silver stock and we've been long and i said to subscribers you see here's the body it's the same pattern stalk leg formation yes when this breaks out it should go all the way to a, to a higher high probably to a peak d and then it comes back and the target that we would look for on the pullback would be 604 because 605 was the high that was made today's low was uh, 602 and it rebounded strongly it's actually trading now at 6.41 so that's the beak so there it is there's the oval body there's the neck there's the beak he has the neck and i typed in the other day the beak and there it is. So these patterns repeat over and over. This, this particular one doesn't happen very often, but it's a fantastic thing. And the reason why I wanted to show it to you is that if Microsoft is starting to at least give a hint that it's trying to form some kind of a low, now I'm starting to look for lows. And, I, and the selectivity in this particular move says that in the spectrum of if the lower, if the mid-cap stocks start to move, 
you have a vast array of stocks for subscribers that are in the single digits to low double to the teens. And that's really exciting because the gains can be really strong. So I'm yes. hoping that this works out. And it's very timely because I, I think I'm, I'm watching next week closely because the Dow and the uh, uh, Russell 2000 are still holding pretty well above. Uh, yeah, actually, if I had to show you this, let me let me show you this just briefly. Even the S and P, which is pulled back very sharply, um, look, all the technicals are still quite strong, and the SMHs, which we are short, is showing tremendous weakness. So I'm going to use all these techniques, discuss it with uh, yeah, in the webinar, the video today, and the webinar Tuesday. Look and folks, it's very easy to come into this webinar. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content. Hit that button. You are off to the races. Basil, have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show on Monday. Thank you, Tom. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento Friday, July 12th and Friday, July 26th, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Time for three hours of live trading. For this month only, use promo code LarryJuly24 at checkout to save $50 on your first month's subscription. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This portion of the Tom O'Brien Show is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Well, welcome back, folks. Dow Dow Industrial is down 316. NASDAQ's off 94. S&P's off 32. So, uh, overnight, folks, okay, we had a huge crash. CrowdStrike 
In fact, if we look at CrowdStrike first, check this out, man. This is pretty intense. So CrowdStrike turned around. Where are you, man? Okay, so here we go. So CrowdStrike's down 34 bucks. Not bad for what happened, actually. Uh, it was as low as uh, 55 down. So let's just look at this first anyway. Let's look at this. Okay, so. Yeah. Not like you get a high with no volume. Oh, you, no, I see a test at the high with no volume. Unreal. Come down with volume. Okay, anyway, to make a long story short, the bottom line, folks, is that they put a piece of software, a coding rather, into their Falcon system. The Falcon system brought down the Azure, which brought down the whole cloud system. What did that do? The bottom line is that brought down airline reservation systems, brought down healthcare. Uh, didn't do as much damage to banks, that's for sure. Like, and, and we got the Bank of Tampa's closed right now down the street, but uh, the other, other two banks are open. Uh, my point is, is this, go get cash, folks, because yeah, this is going to be a matter of when, not if, that we do wake up at some point, um, and whether banks are down for a half hour or, you know, two days, you want cash. And get 20s. Don't get all 100s either, because the bottom line is that if that does come or when it does come you don't want to be giving someone a hundred dollar bill for a hot dog you know that's the bottom line i'm exaggerating there of course but the bottom line is it get get small bills and keep them you, you got to keep them so whatever you feel like comfortable with just do it because that we we haven't actually saw what actually happened you know what ended up happening is that whether it's what in europe in asia they were sending bankers home that's the real bottom line. So, so it's serious business, and yeah, back up the whole ball of wax, and we'll see the ramifications. Meaning that, you know, do we really want uh, two or three companies that you can just get those companies and bang, you're in business, man. Shut the whole thing down, right? So pretty intense. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here. Let's take a look at it. So right now you get Nvidia off two and a half bucks, Tesla's off eight ninety. You got uh, CrowdStrike's the big one that's down thirty five. Advanced Micro's down three fifty. Uh, inside the NDX, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. So Intel's down five percent. You got uh, what is that? Yeah, Electronic Arts is off four percent. General Foods is down three point nine. You're getting two of the surgicals up nine bucks. I mean, nine percent rather. That's a good number. Let's see what's going on with this one, man. This is always interesting. So, on two of the surgicals, the lows, oh, look at this. It better be interesting. The highs today. Lows 254, the highest 456, which was generated out here today. Look at that. So, it comes down. It must have come out with numbers. Put this on a weekly for a second. Yeah, that's the end of that one, too. Meaning that, yeah, you're at all-time high. You come off the high with volume. You have a price spread out here today of, uh, well, not that bad. It's only 10 bucks. Oh, I see what's going on, though. I got it on the weekly. Yeah, on the weekly, you get a price spread of 40 bucks. Let's go over to the ES again. We're going, we're going south, man. And this is, the, this is the divergence, folks. That's what's going on here. You know, one indice wants to finish the ABC structure, not done, so guess what? There's not breathing room here. Yeah, we'll see where this baby goes. The NQs. Remember this, though, for Monday morning. And I suspect over the weekend we'll get a little volatility in the political market because we'll see, you know, every time that, the, you know, the, you can see the, 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 the way that... What we're seeing right now in the Democratic Party, you can see how people come out and say, no, let's, we got to get that Biden out of here. And you can see how the stories just keep coming out. And then he keeps fighting back on the other side because he, this is the headlines. First, the headlines earlier today was that, yeah, this is the weekend. It's going to do it. And then about two hours ago, 
Biden comes out and says, oh, no, I'm going to reserve camp campaigning next week. Okay. We'll see how that shakes out. Well, that's the real bottom line. See where it goes. Um, but if we don't get it this weekend, and who knows, you get an announcement whether you get a pop or not. I, you know, it's the, the, the market is more powerful than anything, folks, okay? And we've seen it on the way up, and now you get a correction happening. And, you know, if this is a, um, a razor blade connect correction, it's going to be a trip. Because a razor blade connect correction is one of the most vicious. And with that, a razor blade con correction goes like this. You go down, 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 right? Go sideways a bit, do a little bounce, but hardly a bounce. And what ends up happening, people get used to their portfolio going down, and then all of a sudden, you get down 30 points in the S&P. 25 the next day, 35 the next day. Nothing the next day, nothing the next day, 35 the next day. Those are the ones that are just brutal. And those are the ones that can last a long period of time. The reason they can last a long period of time is that it's not as fast and furious as just a sell, sell, sell. Now, what we're going to have out here today, you're going to have a low arms number today, which, is the, which would be the beginning of getting close to a bounce. Right now, the arms are reading 0.79. Yesterday was a one, though. Yes, so yesterday, picture what happened yesterday. Even though we were down dramatically, right, people were buying the dip all day long because it was a 1.03. And 1.03 means that there's many people buying as there is selling, okay? What you need in order to get into the bottom there is that you need the, you know, the 0 0.80, 0 0.70, 0.65. That's when you get in action. In fact, let me go look at the tick here for a second. Yeah, look at this. We've only we've only got a, a minus eleven forty three, which is a joke. That means that yeah, that. And in fact, if I look at the last few days, yesterday, what is that? Right there. So last night we got. Yeah, well, you got to, Is that the close though? No, it's not. We got a minus seventeen hundred yesterday. That, that's a good start. Minus 1709, but what happens, you need a follow through. And what ends up happening is if we don't get a follow through within three trading days, today's would be the first, right? Bottom line, that negates that minus 1700. Dow is off 401, NASDAQ's down 148, S&P's off 45. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. 
a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow's up 400, NASDAQ's down 138, S&Ps are up 44. And thanks, Dan and the Den. I did it again, folks. I can't believe I did it again, particularly because I used to eat use these so much okay when i just gave you those stats on the the arms it's just the opposite of what i said folks literally and that's the second time i did this i did the last time i went over this whether it's a month ago i did the exact same thing so let's go over it again okay we get a 0.81 the 0.81 this is even worse than i was talking about is that there's not only uh bottom line no fear there, there's greed that because it's just the opposite when these things come in under meaning that they're buying the heck out of it, okay? So the bottom line is that this isn't even close that we're going to get a bounce here. That's what it comes down to, because they are buying like crazy. And you know that, that the thing that's always intriguing, and this is what is definitely intriguing, is that many of these things, I'm not talking about the arms and stuff, I'm talking about just being down three or four days in a row and people looking for a bounce, right? They work until they don't work. Now, the way I look at markets is that when you get a turn, which we have the turn, okay, it depends on how long that we've actually gone up number one, what type of reaction you're going to get in the way down. That, that's on the table. The bigger part that's on the table is how the market, in fact, I'll show you, let me show you this, as how the market, if you remember when you're going up every day, up every day. Well, when you're going up every day, right, it's really easy that, you know, the, the NQs can be up like in 102 seconds, right? The S&Ps are always up 20, okay? Because you got to remember something, we're at larger numbers now. So 20 S&P points aren't, are not 20 S&P points, like 1,000 points away, okay? But you can see out here today and yesterday that there's no bias. Now, there were less sellers, but for how long? Only for about a half hour. And then all of a sudden, they start coming in again. That is the essence of how you start correcting. And that's where we're at right now. So when you're, when you're coming down only three or four days in a row, that's nothing, man. That's not even close. That's like, it's, yeah, it's, you know, I mean, because when you take a look at markets, the bottom line, we're still right next to highs. So I can un totally understand why, you know, people have made a lot of money. It's like, okay, you know, if we take a look at the futures, you know, you are back to, we're back a month. In one week, you're back a month. But we also know that that's exactly what happens. Oh, look at this man, hold it. You know what, oh baby, oh, this is gonna be such a good trading market, oh my God. Don't forget about Basil's workshop, Tuesday, folks. This is a trader's market. Look what's going on here. Oh, baby. Okay. Thank you, God. Here we go. Not right away, but you know what we have here, folks? You have three black crows. Oh, I love these. Three black crows, folks, are a candlestick pattern. And what you're looking for, they're, you know, you can get, you're coming down. They're almost the same size, which we have. Now, here's the kicker. This is what's so cool about three black crows. Three black crows, let's say, you know, I suspect we're still going to go a little bit lower first, but three black crows love to get tested 
and it's a total mind blower that you can actually start going back up and almost get to the highs. That's what I love about Three Black Crows. And the correlation and verification have to do, let's go put the spy up for a second. Because the correlation and verification, yeah, we got them, man. We got, we got, we got them. The, the first one on the spy is not that great. But what, what ends up happening, once we get the bounce going, which who, who knows, uh, it's a day by day deal with myself as to where this bounce is going to go. My, my take is we're not bouncing Monday at all. But anyway, to make a long, you know, what, would you be, what you'll be looking for next, you'll be looking for the bounce on light volume. And it, when you have three black crows, the bounce goes further than you think. And then you hit it again. Okay, so that's the trading part of it. The investing part of it is that a three black crow is setting up a much larger correction. Normally, you go like this. You come down, you come down with volume. You come up, as you're coming up, your, your volume is contracting on the way up. Then what does it do? Go sideways a bit and then just lets loose, man. And we got plenty of time for that because we're dealing with what? The 20th, the 19th of July, August, September, October. You're dealing with 90 days, folks. Or you're dealing with 63 days of trading. Long time. Big time. Okay, let's get over to the... Silver market. So silver, yeah. See, the gold wants to come down to the bottom of consolidation. Silver's already there. That's a heads up, then big time. So SLV, let me put the SLV up. Because the SLV, okay, so on the SLV, 2636, the bottom of the consolidation is 2609. Put this on a weekly for a second. Yeah, you get expansion of volume here on the weekly too. This is telling me that the gold contract is going to come down to the bottom of the consolidation, which which is quite a ride, by the way. <laughs> That's uh, that has some points inside it. So let's go look at the dollar, because I don't I don't, you know, the dollar has fought and fought and fought over this higher range and lower range. And the way that we went down, my take is that we're not going to get in the higher range again. The higher range is 104.995. Now we're at 104.392, so you're not that far away from it. If we bounce up a little and then fail up at that level, we'll see. But so you have a lot of things happening simultaneously. And of course, Let's go to the DAX in Germany, because what was happening with the DAX in Germany, too, it hasn't come down a lot, but that was also signaling that this market wanted lower price, because the DAX in Germany, the high there was generated uh, May 15th. And you can see it gave it up. The DAX is trading at 18,171, 17,951 is game. And we'll see at that particular level, if that's where we actually get to, um, if, in fact, uh, you get a slowdown in volume, and we'll see whether we get any folks that want to buy into this market. That's what it comes down to. Oil. We go to the oil market. That, you talk about volatility in the oil market, right? CLA. One second. CLA. Okay. Look at that. 51,000 contracts. It must be, oh yeah, see the contracts roll every month in the oil market too. But bottom line, we get one more break. We get a break Monday. Oil's also going lower, pretty wild. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 367, NASDAQ up 140, S&P's down 41. Stay right there folks, come right back.
stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow's down 3, uh, 396. Nasdaq's up 149. SP's down 45. Let's go to the Dow because this is going to get intriguing here, folks. So, you know, the Dow broke topside in a month's away. We go up 700 points the next day. It gives it all up in about two seconds, okay? Now, let's take a look at this because I want to show you something else. I'll show you the NASDAQ. So what you have here is this, is that we got to an all-time high this week. That all-time high being the 41,376, okay? That's, you know, what, uh, a thousand points higher than we were. Than we are right now, okay? The lower range inside of the Dow Industrials starts at 40,077. Now we're at 40,249. If we get inside that range Monday, would I expect we will? Guess what? That is like not only a monster failure, that is saying we go down to the other side of the range, which would be a hit beyond belief. Well, it would be a hit beyond belief if you bought the high. Let's put it that way, okay? That's something you want to keep your eye on. The reason being is if I go to the NASDAQ composite now, okay, what you have with the composite is that these gaps are going to get filled, man. And the first one I expect we're going for right now is 17,345. You got to, we get, <laughs> we got a lot of gaps here, man. But bottom line, my take is that we're going to get there pretty quick. And we'll go from there because this, <laughs> I don't even want to, go to the bottom of the range, but 
what, it, what you do have happening, folks, is that because we went up so dramatically and because we had a couple with four, four different that the, that the futures were up so dramatically that the composite actually gapped. And that's really unusual when you see either whether the Dow gap or the composite gaps because what happens, the future price has to be pretty dramatic in order for that gap to come into fruition. Bottom line. Okay, so over the weekend, don't forget about our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. You're going to love that webinar. That's going to be Tuesday, five, 4 to 5.30. The Tiger Dollar Sale. We have extended the Tiger Dollar Sale, so it's going to the 31st of this month. And, uh, hey, listen, have a great weekend, safe weekend. Come back Monday. Tommy kicks us off, 9 a.m. Have a great one. Have a safe one, folks. Mm -hmm.